Now with a combination of PB blaster, soaking here, shooting the idle jet. I've worked it, worked it loose back and forth until I've been able to finally uh, back it up, count the turns. So it's half, one, spray some more PB blaster in there. It's and by doing so I've been able to loosen it all up. So back to where it was originally. How many turns in? Or out actually. And count how many in. So half one half two easy. Don't want to go tight hard down on the on the end of the needle because it's real fragile. Don't want to damage the jet. Down to two and a half. I've got two, so it's two and a half turns out on a number three carb. Okay. So I've already worked this loose with the PB blaster back and forth, and it all threads out real nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take it all the way out. I wrote down two and a half turns out on number three idle jet. Idle mixture screw actually. Careful down that. This is a needle. Down inside there is a spring. There's also an O ring that stayed inside. It goes right on the ends of the needle. Keep this with the number three carb. I'm using a bent over paper clip, real tight on the end. I can fish out the spring. See if I keep from dropping it while holding the camera. Okay, there's the spring. Keep it with number three. And down at the bottom, we're going to have an O ring. able to fish the hole ring out so I'm just going to let this soak some more and I may just leave the o-rings in there for this rebuild because the whole idea is not to replace any parts if we can avoid it so I'm just going to turn this idle mixture screw loose a few turns let it soak more <laughs> 